Kuna mgombea urais mwanamke wa kipekee katika kinyang'anyiro cha uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka huu wa 2022. African Wonder Woman. Napenda kusema naitwa African Wonder Woman Juliet Makapila. Mimi nakwambia mimi nilisema kama mwanamke wakati wa 2022 lazima nagombea kiti cha rais. Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi mimi siku ya jua hayo hadi nilipokumbana naye mtandaoni nikitafuta tafuta wageni wangu na wahoji kila siku nashukuru kuwa katika kipindi chenu cha uongozi one on one na natumaini mnanisikia vizuri na nasalamia wa Kenya wote popote ambapo ulipo Nilipofanya mahojiano naye aliniambia mengi sana kwani ni mzungumzaji mzuri sana ambaye ukimwachia aseme anaweza kusema kwa zaidi ya saa Napenda kazi za community development ama kwa kifupi mimi watu wengi kwa kizungu wanasema change maker na uh, mimi pia ama social scientist na kwa kusomea nimesomea mambo ya kisayansi mbali na mambo ya sayansi anapenda sana mazingira na hufanya miradi mingi mbali na siasa mama huyu ni mshairi na ameandika mashairi mengi sana ya Kiingereza My poem is called A Dream Not Shattered. It's 1:07 early morning, early hours, and I'm just woken up to find the words of expressing in my mind and in my dream. Tuko wapi nilijiuliza ile swali? Yaani where are we Kenyans at this very moment? As I look into the shattered dreams of a broken society where money becomes the order of the day insecurity heightens towards the bling of a minute the burdens of suppression cannot be closed doors the burdens of the poor leadership should not be compromised alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi Atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi alisema ni mpenda amani na mtu wa kuimarisha maisha ya watu wengine politics should be fruitful and not deceitful politics should be for the people and not the bloodshed a vivid stop to think how we elect our leaders at the race to our state house look at the state of electing bad leadership and what it causes our fruits of delivery for over 50 years in electing leaders whom some only serve exclusively lifestyle if you're one of those people who have found your real sense of purpose your true sense of being and you're looking to find your gift and what you were created to do you're a phone call away from just finding african wonder woman the number to call is plus 4477423840502 alilelewa kenya lakini ni mkazi wa uingereza anaipenda sana nchi yake the country of Kenya right now i urge all fellow kenyans to change the scenario right now let's elect new uh, dawn a new era let's change kenya asanteni sana alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi ni mwanzilishi wa makundi mengi sana ya wakenya wanaoishi ugaibuni na ana ushirikiano mkubwa pia na raia wa mataifa mengine ya Afrika huko ugaibuni
God for Juliet Macapilla for President of Kenya 2022. Head to the polling station. Everyone make your way to the polling station on the 9th of August 2022 and vote for your new president, Juliet Macapilla. Alama yake farasi, endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasuasi, mashaka wala tetesi. Atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi. Makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi. Democracy towards peace of a nation needs those tasks to help set this framework to be accountable to governments and its people and communities. Least not because that is least expected and because the African nation needs to readdress balance on leadership which is critical to development in the efforts of generations and withstanding the times of changing patterns around the world around the world when the world has been on standstill with diseases such as COVID-19 a world that needs the voices of those that have hold the value of humanity. African Wonder Woman, the indomitable African Wonder Woman. If... Ni kwa sababu gani umeamua wewe? Ni, ni kitu, kitu gani ambacho kili kupelekea? Yani kili kudrive mpaka ukasema unataka kuwania urais. Najaribu kufikiria nini Hawa politicians ama hawa wanyasiasa wambao wametuongoza, wametuletea. Na nikiangalia mpaka saa hii roho yangu inalia. So, mara nyingi kama watu wa Kenya tunasema, oh, eh, tunataka good leadership, we want good leadership, but... Kwa kweli nikajitazama nika mimi mwenyewe nikasema na nini inafanya nisiweke jina langu kweli na hapo ndio unaanza kuona kama wanawake sometimes tuna lack confidence you know we lack confidence na unakuta wanawake hata not just in Kenya but across the whole world they are not represented so mimi nikasema women leadership is very important kwa sababu Mambo ya wanawake ukiangalia nchini Afrika yako nyuma. Ukiangalia mambo ya uh, ya watoto yako nyuma. Ukiangalia mambo ya maji yako nyuma. Ukiangalia mambo ya mastahili za nyumba ziko nyuma. Sasa roho yangu ikanambia you need a woman kuweze kuenda kweli ku champion these issues katika taifa letu la Kenya na mkiangalia uh, taifa letu la Kenya once ama twice watu wawili wamejaribu lakini hata wakupita zile nominations walishindwa politics should be fruitful and not deceitful politics should be for the people and not the bloodshed a vivid stop to think how we elect our leaders at the race to our state house. Look at the state of electing bad leadership and what it causes. Our fruits of delivery for over 50 years in electing leaders whom some only serve exclusively lifestyle. Alamayake Farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi uchaguzi huu mkuu wa mwaka huu unahusisha vyama 17 lakini ni vichache tu vinavyojulikana hebu tuviangalie vyama hivyo na wagombeaji urais na wagombeaji wenza wao Agano Party Waihiga David Mwaure Mgombea Mwenza Musheru Ruth Wamboi Amani National Congress Mudavadi Wycliffe Musalia 
akawa hajataja mgombea mwenza Democratic Party of Kenya Muturi Justin Bedan Njoka bila mgombea mwenza Ford Asili Kadhangu Augustin Njeru mgombea mwenza Arunga Michael Angaya Jirani Mzalendo Lengala David William mgombea mwenza kahajatajwa Justice and Freedom Juma Justice Zakois Onyango mgombea mwenza Ndunda and Wavinya Maendeleo Democratic Party Joseph Ngasha Karani mgombea mwenza Rachel Bosibori Geshiko Hicho cha huyu mama Republican Liberty Party Republican Liberty Party Makapila Juliet mgombea mwenza Matayo Jared Obogi Roots Party of Kenya Wajakoya George Lushiri mgombea mwenza Wamae Justina Wangui Safina Party Wanjigi Jimmy Richard mgombea mwenza Otieno Willis Evans Tadwe Alliance Kenya au John Longodji Ekuru mgombea mwenza Waweru Daniel John Miruru UDA Samoi William Ruto mgombea mwenza Gashagwa Rigathi Umoja Summit Party Mongare Ochonga Walter mgombea mwenza Mwakazi Walidora Rachel Unified Change Party Kaluyu Jafet Kavinga mgombea mwenza Washira Julia Wanjiru Usawa kwa wote Mwangi Wairia mgombea mwenza Otuke Alfayo Onyamu Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party Odinga Raila mgombea mwenza Karua Matha Wangari Mwangaza tu Party Munene Josephine Gathoni mgombea mwenza Otieno Steven Odhiambo Niaji mwenza wake amebobea katika maswala ya uhandisi wa mitambo ya kompyuta na hisabati kama yeye alivyobobea katika maswala ya siasa na sayansi mwaniaji mwenza huyo anaitwa Matayo Jared Obogi na ni kijana wa miaka 28 so, mimi ya kwanza ni shukuru Republican Liberty Party um a political party kwa sababu waliweza kuchagua mimi mwanamke wakasema wakati huu watampatia mwanamke uh, na wamama wawe ndio watatuongoza katika our political party arise all children youth men and women of africa and make africa great Choose great leaders that deliver and practice wisdom from the from the ancestors and for the generation to build light bulbs and not close bulbs a spark of thoughtfulness politics should be fruitful and not deceitful politics should be for the people and not the bloodshed a vivid stop to think how we elect our leaders at the race to our state house look at the state of electing bad leadership and what it causes our fruits of delivery for over 50 years in electing leaders whom some only serve exclusively lifestyle can we speak to ourselves the mindset needs to change and transform to visionary leaders 
and nations that bring the best dreams of every community of Africa and around the world. A shattered dream because choosing victim is the sole solution for some of these leaders towards flourishing. And yet the harsh truth is the burdens of the cross should be made known to our karma. A true sense of silence. A dream for roses to share. Alama yake farasi, endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasiwasi, mashaka wala tetesi. Tafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi. Makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi. And please not forget to add tulips and blend the freedom of a nation needs. The whispers of a people's cry. Sasa mama yetu, dada yetu. Yeah. Eh, uko wapi na uh, uko na maso liyo ya pe manake tunona ni uwe na bilioni ya rubaini uko ndio uweze billboard moja tu ya kuweka pale na kuwa ni pesa mingi sana na hizo kampeni za kwenda kote nchini mpaka watu wakujue ndio waje wakupigie kura umefanga mikakati gani I don't believe that politics should be about money I do not believe that I sincerely believe that good politics should bring accessibility and equity to ordinary Kenyans so that Kenyans can compete fairly. So I sincerely believe that politics should not be about who has the most amount of money. And that is why as a Kenyan I say corruption starts when the ideology becomes competition who has got more money than the other and i am calling upon african governments not just kenyans i am calling upon african governments to look into the issue of how we give or we are allowed resources when we are competing so the purpose of me saying that this idea that the amount of money that one should have should be one idea that is looked very closely and i ask our government of kenya to ratify to ratify this position of a, a politicians who i call upon to go back home mimi naambia voters send them back home Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi kwa hivyo kwa kifupi wacha nieleze kwa Kiswahili ninasema ya kwamba hmm. mimi nataka uongozi ambao unaletea watu E, kukimbia kama kama mnashindana ili muweze kushindana vizuri on your max get set go muko katika laini moja so tuwekewe e, kifedha ambazo kila mtu anaweza kuwa nazo kama ni lorry zinapeanwa lorry ni zipeanwe kwa kila contestant si kila mtu anajilipia kwa sababu tukifanya tukikuwa na me, tukiendelea vile tunaendelea kisiasa tunafanya ubaguzi na sitaki kwa hivyo fellow Kenyans this time nimesema hata kwa mimi kama mtu hawezi unakuta mtu anakwambia ni lazima umununulie t-shirt ni lazima umununulie makofia ni lazima ununue hiki na kile nimesema sinunui so nimesema tu vizuri mtu ukitaka kuvaa kofia yangu ni shilingi mbili na sabini 270 kuvaa kofia langu nenda katika ile duka nimetengeneza pahali unaweza kwenda kununua ile duka ukamsaidia yule mwenye mwenye duka lakini mimi sitaki mtu aniulize ni mununulie kofia kwa sababu nikisema nitanunulia moja ni lazima ninunulie milioni na sitaweza alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi Wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi 
makabila mfanisi atakakuwa raisi kwa hivyo fellow Kenyans tuweze ku understand let's understand where corruption starts na ndio unaona na fight hiyo corruption kwa sababu kama mtu akikupa kitu sahi kesho kutwa atakuja kusema kama aliuza shamba lake ili anunue t-shirt an, alipe magari hizo mnaona afanye nini so mimi nasema ya kwamba kama wamama ile pesa ile kama saa mimi ninayo hapo wacha nifanyie the best way i can saa hii i am campaigning nothing stops me from campaigning but i am campaigning efficiently i am campaigning in all the 47 counties and i'm still reaching out but i am reaching out diligently ulitokea miungano ya vyama yani coalitions tukaona kuna azimio sijui hawa wamejiita uda wale wanaungana ungana nyi wewe background ya chama chako ni ipi na eh umeungana na kina nani background ni kwamba sisi kama Republican Liberty Party uh, hatukuenda kwenye any coalition so mm -hmm. coalition la azimio liko na watu 23 na coalition la eh, Kenya kwanza iko na 12 lakini sisi kama Republican Liberty Party tuko tu mnasema nini? Tuko tu e, solo. Mtasema solo. <laughs> so e, so that is the background. Unatusikia kutoka Nairobi? Ah, uh, studio ni Nairobi tuko salama na muona dada Juliet Mahapila anajaribu kuuza sera kweli pale. Dada ujambo. Iko sawa kabisa na kusalamia asante sana kwa maswali. <laughs> Asante mimi na swali moja tu. Na kuona. Mbona sijakuona wewe na Republican Liberty Party mkipita pita humu na pale mkikampeini? Mimi nakusikiza tu leo kwenye mtandao sikuoni ukipeperusha magari, mabango, mabana zikitembea sikuoni. Najua si lazima unakimbia kila pahali watu wanakuona na magari kubwa sio lazima niko na gari zangu hapa natembea tu nazunguka zunguka kwa hivyo mtandao mimi ninazungumzia watu na naamini ya kwamba wa Kenya wengi ambao wananisikia na wanasikia um, e, e, Republican Liberty Party saa hizi hata mnaona tuko kwenye hii uh, kipindi leo hapa uh, uta, utajua tunajua kuzungumzia watu so tunazungumza na pia secondly another thing ile sana sana pia inafanya mtu tena usiweze una control ile budget uko nayo unaona hawajanipatia IBC certificate so ile IB certificate IEBC certificate kwa sababu sijapatiwa kwa sababu ya exclusion si nimewapeleka kotini that does not me, that does not stop me from campaigning because sijakuwa disqualified lakini kuna mambo ambayo imetendeka pale IBC na nimepeleka kotini chemkati wa fula nimempeleka kotini kwa sababu ya irregularities of what i call um, nataka uh, this uh, whole election iwe nullified because of so many irregularities so mkitaka kuangalia kesi yangu iko pale milimani uh, milimani um, high court so mnaweza kufuatilia hapo kama watu wa mtandao uh, na mtaona zile mambo nimeweka pale na ni nyingi alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi atakakuwa raisi zingine kama ma MCA kama ma MPs kama ma governors kama nini kuna pande zingine wameenda on the ground lakini siwezi kukwambia ati ni the whole of 47 um, counties in Kenya but tunajaribu pali tunaweza alafu kitu kingine tena nitakwambia hatukuweza kuweka 
candidates in all the 47 counties hatukuweza kufanya vile so pia that is one of the barriers pia okay so unakuta our selected seats ama zile seats ambazo tume decide tunataka kukimbilia pia tumezipatia um, priorities kwa sababu huko ndio our candidates wako na wale candidates wakiweza kushinda tunafurahia ya kwamba tutakuwa na government ya Republican Liberty Party alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi kwa hivyo tunaweka more efforts kule so inategemea pali huko kama huko Nairobi tuko na senator pale wacha ni mtaje jina senator wetu anaitwa Zakai eh, Zakari uh, Momanyi na mtaweza kumuona pia mtandaoni uh, hivi you know in the coming few weeks alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi na pia tuna governor wetu pale Nairobi so mkiangalia amepata tu certificate um, juzi so unaona these are barriers that are put na ndio mnasikia ninasema it's not equal equity the equity needs to be the same for all candidates swali so, so, so la pili ni wana mikakati ipi kama Republican Liberty Party wana mikakati ipi kuhakikisha kuwa usawa wa jinsia utahakikishwa katika wagombea ya viti wao vyote kama vile serikali imesema jinsia ya tuluthi mbili the party sisi tumepitisha because tulikuwa one of the political parties ambayo ilikuwa ya kwanza kupitisha gender parties can i also mention that as we speak right now gender parities or gender balance was not met was not met by azimio party and it was also not met by kenya kwanza those were not met na ndio pia nimepeleka hayo maoni yangu kwa koti kwa sababu mimi kama presidential candidate i need to be responsible niulize hayo maswali so why is it they are still running as far as i'm concerned they are meant to be dismissed those two candidates and their political party should not even be competing they shouldn't be in the ballot paper because both political parties did not meet they both did not meet the gender balance which is written in the constitution of kenya that for a political party to go through they must meet the gender balance so why is azimio still running wa kenya that is corruption why is uh, um uh, kenya kwanza still running that is corruption so i think i've answered that question of gender balance now that is why i am saying this election should be nullified because the main political part the main the, the major two political parties seem to not have met the conditions that they are also meant to meet so sisi tumepita kama tumepita then we are the winner na kama tunafanya ukweli na tunatakana tufuate sheria ambazo zimewekwa na wale wengine hawajafuata sheria ambazo zimewekwa then that leaves the person who is the winner and that person is me alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi kwa hivyo nataka kuambia wa Kenya leo hii lazima kama voters tunaangalia kabisa mstari kwa mstari so mkiangalia ile kesi nimeweka katika milimani high court na mimi nimeweka kama jina langu uh, nasema mimi kama presidential candidate wa Republican Liberty Party I need answers why should other candidates presidential candidate be treated at wame petition hiyo two third gender rule they did not pass the two third gender rule ask the 
political parties registrars, they will tell you they did not pass. So, if that is the case, Yule Nyaja me petition pia kama aliwapatia certificate ama akasema waendelee. Kenyans need to ask Yule Nyaja, kwa nini umemkubalia? So we need Kenyans, ordinary Kenyans need the right answers. Okay? So nitamalizia hapo hayo, koti tafuatilia hapo nyingine. Ana usuli wa uhisani na kuwasaidia wengine katika masuala ya amani, mazingira, malezi ya watoto, afya, utamaduni, elimu, michezo na mengine mengi. Hapa nchini na ngambo amefanya sana kazi za kujitolea. Na hayo yote ameyajumuisha katika manifesto yake. Manifesto yako ni ipi ikoje briefly tu unajua una mambo mengi yeah. lakini unaweza ukatutajia tajia kidogo So asante sana mimi kija ni mambo ya manifesto kwanza nataka ni waeleze wa Kenya for one minute sa hizi kwanza think where we are just relax think where Kenya should be think where we should be as a nation Ya? Yeah? Uangalie uh -huh. tu chakula bei ya chakula saa hizi pale iko. Bei ya petroli pale iko saa hii. Watoto. Eh wazee, men. Tuna wakati huu inchi zote zimetoka tu eh, COVID-19. Mambo za COVID-19 bado ziko katika hewa. That is what we are looking at. Think about the political climate not just in Kenya but around the world. Think about that. Yeah? Alafu ufikirie mahitaji ya mkenya kutoka baba, kutoka mama, kutoka youth, kutoka mtoto teenager, kutoka vile tuko saa hizi na vile tunataka kukua in generation and generation. Think about where you should be in the next 10 years. Ama in the next 8 years. In the next 8 years it will be 2030 wa Kenya. 2030 So nikiweka mstari wangu wa manifesto those are the things i was thinking about mimi nilikuwa nafikiria where does kenya want to be by the year 2050 where do we want to be 2030 vision 2030 tunaisikia kila siku vision you know 2050 2060 um, eh, African Union wanasema nini 2063 2065 sikumbuki where do we want to be alafu ufikirie ati governance ya Kenya wakati huu haitaki kuweka governance vizuri ili watu waweze ku compete vizuri hapana manifesto yangu kwa sababu nimewapatia time mfikirie kidogo Ma manifesto yangu mimi napenda kuanza kwa kusema Republican Liberty Party Kenya mpya haki zetu fresh politics tosha gari liberty powers of the people alafu pia nataka sana wa patie breakdown ya vitu ambavyo naamini Kenya needs most ya kwanza lakini haiko in any particular order nitasema tu nikizifikiria but there is a particular order wakati mwingine tutazungumzia hayo alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi but what does kenya need most kama chakula bei ya chakula iko juu sana saa hii what do we need most we need to improve our agriculture and address food security na mambo za youth empowerment and employment tunatakikana tuangalie zaidi okay. we need to be raising standard for the poor and vulnerable and equal access to justice for the marginalized community 
and every single one of us. Imagine wh where we are right now. Security issues, zinapanda. So we need to be improving our security around Kenya. We need to build our great infrastructures, electricity, you name it. We need to be building our health sector. Wakati hu, mtu akigonyeka kila sata unaogopa. Kwenda hospitali bili ziko yusi yu kumekwenda kumeteremka. Yani, ata ukisikia zile vitu watu wanaendea through. Unakuta negligence imeja katika ma hospitali sijui kumekwenda kumeteremka. Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi. Atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi. Maka bila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi. We need to improve our ICT and technology kama vile sasa na nina mshukuru mungu tunaweza kusikilizana lakini we need to still do better. We need to fight corruption at the highest level. Na ndiyo nafraia yu swali wili ameniuliza kwa sababu it deals with corruption na we don't want to be spending all those billions of pounds, shillings that people are spreading uko watu wanakimbia For the last five years, mtiani ni watu waanze competition on the 29th of May na unakuta watu for the last five years wamekua wakizunguka nchi yote. So, what should we do with those people that break the rules? They should not even be standing. They should be dismissed and disqualified. So we need to fight corruption at the highest level. We need to improve women's rights in every sector. And I celebrate my this political party. I celebrate Republican Party, which I'm now really, really passionate about and telling everybody about it. We need to fight the social inequality. Saizi unakuta inequality inakuwa. Watu tajiri wanazidi kuwa watajiri. Watu wale wengine maskini ni kama kila mtu sijui ni aji. So we need to be fighting and looking into these issues. We need to be promoting peace in our lives. And above all, we need to promote love. Because when we have love, na tunapendana, tunapata amani, tunatoa, uh, tunatoa uh, ukabila, tunatoa uh, mambo mengi. Tunapendana kwa madini na mambo mengi. But that's just a taster of some of the things. Now we need to be promoting talents and the youth. We also need to be industrializing all our towns. Tunaweka industrialization ili tunaweza ku uh, create good employment opportunities za watu, watu wawate kusikia wana hela katika mikono yao. You can imagine sa zile ata diasporians they are not respected diasporians watu wanatafuta kwenda ngambo kwa nini watu wanataka kwenda ngambo unaona watoto huko wamepita huko ma, e, e, mavichaka huko wanapita huko kwa maji wanakuwa wana they are running away they are running away from the root cause of the problems we need to fix our nations not just in Kenya but we need to fix our nations in Africa so those are just a few things nimesikia Eh, eh, so we need to be creating jobs and industrialization manufacturing sector ili tuweze pia ku promote talents za wa youth na tuweze ku promote mahitaji ya climate issues make a difference ili tuweze pia kuangalia mahitaji ya green you know eh, tunasema our climate issues ili tuna tuna, tuna breathe hewa safi tuki breathe hewa safi tunasikia pia sisi tumefurahia But those are just some of the great ideas that I think our nation would benefit from. And most of, most of all as well, we need to improve our governance. Our governance around Kenya, our governance around Africa is absolutely critical to a great nation. So, you get, munapata ile feel, you know, na mnajua wa mama wakisha fry. Hata mama tu wakifry hata kwa nyumba, nyumba yote imekua nsuru. So, na waomba wa voters leo. Na yule amesema natafuta sera na ataka kuambia wa Kenya wakinipa tu certificate hivi hata saa hii 
nataka watu wa send i'm saying send home these recycled politicians we need to send them home so that hii mambo yao ya kusema ati oh ni ile pesa nyingi walizunguka Kenya mzima hata sisi tunazunguka but we are doing it efficiently efficiently kiustaarabu umesema ile ati mmetoa huko kila mtu mtu mnakula eh hey, mayuf ehe umesema you, sisi uh, sisi wana habari sisi wana habari umetuweka wapi hapo wana habari majournalist mimi kama mimi sasa mimi nitaingia wapi hapo kwa chama yako msani na pia wana habari sasa na... wana wana ha... Wana habari nimewaweka kwenye talents, nimewaweka kwenye talents and youth. Unajua kwenye talents and youth inakuja is arts and culture. Unaona arts and culture ku promote kwenye arts and culture. That's a whole industry in itself. So to improve our arts and culture. Mnajua nitawapatia hadithi kidogo ili muweze kuona what I mean. Unaona in Africa sometime watu wanataka ni lazima uende shule kutoka standard 1 mpaka university but ukienda abroad sometimes hata wanaweza kufocus na ile kipawa unayo what is your best gift Mungu alikupatia gift gani ukishamaliza tu form 4 unaenda college ama unaenda university unachagua unakuwa ni kama huko na ile polytechnic unaona sasa mimi nataka pia tuna improve zile polytechnics alafu pale kwa arts and culture tunaweza kupromote watu wale kama sasa nyinyi mitandao hii because ukiangalia hata saa hizi as we are speaking right now think about kama unaenda license ile pesa unatakikana kulipa it's not even in competition with what the government says mtu kabisa kabisa unashindwa so mimi na call upon vitu zingine zinaondolewa ili hata watu kama nyinyi mnafaidika mnaweza kuad value even more to the local communities and abroad kama vile inafanyika so hapo ndio ninaweka hiyo na mimi naomba that pia tuweze kuleta global exchange pro, uh, programs katika watu kama nyinyi because One of the things nimekuja kuona fikiria mwa, tufikiria mtu mwenye anaimba tuseme hata mkenya gospel artist in Kenya wengi wao bado they are on survival mode they are on survival mode because unakuta wakati tu wa campaign saa hizi ndio unasema oh muite nani muite nani fulani muite nani in one of my uh, whatsapp group ninaona wanalipangwa between oh tunawalipa shilingi ngapi wanajaza ile gari wakijaza ile gari wanawaita pale siku moja wanaimba alafu wanaenda nyumbani it should be a career a career that you are paid full salary a year salary si kila siku ukiamka ujui pale utatoa senti zako the following day unaona so mimi ni hayo kwa machache nitasema uongozi wa leadership ni lazima unafikiria hiyo changing patterns niliwaambia tunafikiria sasa tunafikiria you know I'm a futurist unajua ile futurist ni kumaanisha i think about the future because hujui tutakuwa eh, in, kama saa hizi huko tuseme 50 years old in the next five years utakuwa 55 kama huko 55 in the next five years utakuwa 60 kama uko 70 in the next 5 years utakuwa 75 Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi so tunatakikana tuna take our leadership very seriously alafu pia nitaongeza niseme ya kwamba mimi naona pengine katika Afrika na nchi za kusini zote pengine tuweke ati leadership ya mwanasiasa akija tuweke tu maximum years yule mtu akitaka kabisa ku campaign ati nini tuweke ikweni 10 years 
na huyo mtu tena asiwahi rudi kukuwa ni president mpaka after another maybe 15 years ndio pale katikati tunaweza kupatia watu wengine so mimi hiyo ndio kitu naweza kusema so my first 100 days maybe it's something i'm thinking about maybe i should campaign for that but within my first 100 days kitu ambayo nataka sana ku, ku campaign on nikipatiwa uongozi ni kusema that the hiyo mumesikia hiyo nimewaambia the ratification ama hiyo ramification ya kutengeneza e, kusiwahi tena ati mtu akijiandikisha kuwa presidential wanakimbia kabla ya wakati wake mtu akikimbia kabla ya wakati wake anakuwa disqualified because that doesn't give equal access to people na ndio kwa maana unakuta watu kama William wanasema mbona hatujakuona haujaniona kwa sababu mimi kwanza kukimbia nimefuata sheria nimefuata the correct dates ambazo nimepatiwa na serikali yetu katika katiba ya Kenya that the competition starts on the 29 na tumefuata sheria kwa hivyo kama tumefuata sheria tunatakikana wa Kenya wana understand it doesn't matter kama ulianza ku, kufanya your campaign five years ago sijui nini ulikuwa unatakikana kuwa ki serve Kenyans Kenyans should ask the right question were they serving the nations kama Aya. wako wana serve have they delivered they have not delivered asante Aya, asante sana kabla ya swali la mwisho hapa ningependa kusoma messages ambazo zimekuja Eh Joan Kafita anasema anakufuatilia vizuri That's sana right. kutoka pale alipo. Beno Liza anasema anafuatilia. Eugene Mulela anasema yuko ndani ndani. Alafu kuna Lilian Cruz amesema kabisa. Matajiri wanabaki matajiri. Maselebu wanabaki wao wao tu. Wanadanganya wakiwa kwa runinga but behind yeah. in the scenes. Ukipiga simu hawashiki, message hawajulikani. Aya mwingine anasema siasa ni mchezo mbaya. Sasa kabisa. ataongea hivi akishapata hizo manifesto hata wazingatia kabisa. Nini huwa kibaya sasa? Huyu pia akipata atakuwa vile vile wananchi tunalindwa na Mungu tu. tu sisi wananchi tunalindwa na Mungu. <laughs> Yuji ni Mulela huyu amesema hivyo. Henry kama wanasema Yujin, wana 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 kwa kabisa to be president. <laughs> Na soma tu messages hapa. <laughs> Endelea. Ni vizuri hivyo napenda. Eh. Sasa ndio nataka kusema kwa Yuji ni yule na nataka kwanza kumwambia Lilian asante sana. Na Yuji ni nataka kumweleza mimi kama Julieti kwa nini nitakosa kuwazingatia wa Kenya? Siwezi kukosa kuwazingatia wa Kenya. Si kwenda nikauza shamba langu ili niweze ku, ku, ku cover the cost of uh, this election campaign. No, I didn't do that. I've just been wise. Na na, na hata bado si ati si, siwezi ku, ku, ku nini? Nasema we need to be efficient. We, you need to be using what you have. Si ile kuzingatia mpaka umechukua hata pesa za serikali, hatujui hata tuzionagi, pesa za COVID zimepotea, sijui kumekwenda kumeteremka. So, mimi siwezi kusema sitazingatia Mkenya because sina sababu ya kusema sitazingatia mkenya because si ku corrupt the system nimeweza kukuja mbele yenu na ile kidogo niko nayo na nikasema wa Kenya sitaweza kukupatia a t-shirt because siwezi ku afford ile i cannot afford your t-shirt so kama unataka we mwenyewe nunua ili tuweze ku cover the cost sisi wenyewe but ile kitu na muomba wa mkenya anifanyie ni kunishikia posta yangu na akinishikia posta yangu anaandika Juliet Makapila ndio navotia na ile sababu itaniwakilisha mimi na nashukuru kwa mkenya yoyote ambaye ataweza kuni kusema anashukuru imani yangu na anashukuru um, the fact that hata eh, nikipata hizo kama sasa mimi tuseme niko na volunteers ambao wamevaa eh, t-shirts zangu na hata hizo eh, t-shirts zinakuwa recycled so for me that is more important to me because what that gives me is the confidence that i will be able to serve every single day without feeling threatened with my insecurities it is the insecurities that makes us have umelipa wale wa vijana 500 pale 500 500 500 ukilipa 1 million people 
kesho utakuja kujaribu kuiba kurudisha ile hela so mimi sitaki hivyo wa Kenya what i want is clean politics what i bring to you ni kusema a budget a simple budget which i can account for na nawaambia hapa nimetumia shilingi ngapi hapa hapa nimetumia hapa na hapa ninge do better kama mngenisaidia na ndio nimeita wa Kenya nikasema tafadhali munisaidie tafadhali muende katika miji yenu museme kama sana najua mtu pale Nairobi nasema watu wa Nairobi muje ninafanya hivi watu wa Nairobi nitufukuze hao watu tawafukuza tu kwa sababu hawajadeliver if they have not delivered they don't deserve to be in the it to come back uongozi unaanzia pale lakini mkija mkilipwa ati oh yule alimpatia shilingi 200 akampatia shilingi 500 haya basi amekupatia kesho akiingia ofisi na aliwalipa na mko watu 1 eh, million kama mko 1 million eh, kesho akiingia ofisi si atafunga hata simu because anajaribu kurudisha ile heli yake sent yake so mimi siko hivyo mimi nakuja plain hapa nasema tujenge nchi yetu alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi na tuweze kujenga ma diaspora wetu ili waweze pia kutusaidia ku bridge the gap ambayo inatakikana tujenge tourism sector yetu ya Kenya kama tunaweza kujenga tourism sector yetu ya Kenya saa hii nenda katika hoteli za Mombasa saa hizi mingi zazo ziko empty where are they empty covid 19 So pale hata watu hawajiriwi pale Fort Jesus juzi nimepitia pale e, e, kijana mmoja amenipigia kanaambia mambo mimi nataka nikueleze shida zetu za pale oh, usiku watu wanakimbia majambazi wako pale Let's build security there unaona so for me nimetembea samburu nimekutana na mtu pale amenambia sisi hata maji hatuna pale bomiti nimekuta mtu amenambia please mtoto wetu wa kwanza eh, 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 watu wakimaliza shule hata wanangi watu wameenda eh, 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 for masters so kama watu hawajaenda masters alikuwa ananiambia build our close universities pale bomet tu hata sitaki kusema majina yao haya pale nakuru wananiambia wanataka hewa nzuri nini haya unaenda kwenye meru meru people wananiambia kwa tafadhali madamu E, e, tufanyie um, university zetu ziwe nzuri na sisi hatutaki haya mabanki sisi tunataka tuweze kupanda kofi tuweze kupanda chakula waweza kutusaidia vipi si mimi najua mahitaji ya wakenya in all the 47 counties all of them mimi ni community developer so i we just need a great strategy a great strategy kuondoa ile e, e, mambo ambayo Kenyan average Kenyan anapitia ana think about um, the tax uh, the tax that Kenyan analipa sai did you know that Kenyans pay one of the most taxes in the whole world mm. ana bado hatuna maendeleo so nataka kusema mimi am like kuna wengine wanasema raise your taxes mimi nasema shukisha Wacha tuanze kuzoea rais wetu mapema alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi alafu na swali ni um, tu, tunaona na mimi vile... by the way napenda talents napenda talents sana Napenda talents, napenda ku mentor wa youth. Kwa sababu eh, 
Unasikia nyimbo zangu watoto eh, nini youth wanantumia Kenya Kenya umesikia hiyo? <laughs> Wamependa ile kitu nasema wanatutumia mziki hapa. Eh hey, rais wenu anapenda mziki na anapenda wa young people kwa sababu nasema the youth are for today they are not for tomorrow. Tukitoa hiyo mentality ya uzee ya kwamba eh, eh, ya, ya kwamba ya wa youth are for today ni mzuri. Na pia wacha ni nitaje wazee pia. Ni lazima tuangalie wazee wanakuwa ni lazima tunawaangalia na tuna make sure in fact i come i'm the one who campaigned to kukuwa na na mtu akifika eh, a particular age anapatiwa pesa na serikali because you deserve it kuna nguvu ya kufanya kazi unaona so mimi nilikuwa one of those poli, eh, pa, persons uh, wa, wa, eh, na mtaambia huko nakuru i started that campaign in nakuru Alafu pia tuongee mambo ya watu wa disability. We need to build mambo za watu wa disability tuna champion. Unajua kukuwa disabled kuna mtu ambaye nilikutana naye akanaambia hakuzaliwa disabled lakini nyoka alimuuma akapata kuwa kiweti. So you can see it can happen to anyone and uh, yule a, 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 alikuwa ananiambia the reason hata hana kazi because certificate yake imekwama kwa sababu wakati alimaliza form 4 na mmesikia alimwananyoka alafu akakatwa miguu or something like that eh, so so there's many stories unajua uki, 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 ukisimama kuwa president unakutana na watu wengi so wacheni niwaambie si ati sijaenda Kenya mzima i have really traveled in fact pale masaini pale hata nitawatumia video saa hii kama ningeweza kuwatumia video ndawatumia yule baba mzee akanaambia ngombe zetu alikuwa ananiambia savo pale e, wanalazimisho kuamka usiku ili ngombe zao zinaenda kwenye kukula because asubuhi wanakatazwa kwenda kupatia ngombe wao and this is their livelihood which is being taken away from so mbona tuna shida nyingi uh, wa Kenya so um, yes mimi ni mtu ambaye naelewa Kenya mimi ni mtu ambaye naelewa watu mimi ni mtu ambaye naelewa mahitaji na ku solve problem. Sitaki tu ku solve problem ati ya leo. Mimi napenda ku solve world problems na mimi ni an international problem solver na one of the best na napenda kusema hivyo because I'm happy to to share that with you. I'm one of the best world change makers. That is what I do for life yeah. Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi one of the world's best solver problem solver nina swali manake tukiangalia ulingo wa kisiasa saa hii do you think we have fair playground na kama utawezana manake tunaona ikiwa na ushindani mkali Do you think there is fair playground? Mimi naweza kusa, kusaidia pali naweza. Sitaki nataka in the next 5 years 10 years mkiangalia mnasema na yule mama Juliet alifanya kazi. Na napenda kujiita African Wonder Woman. So I'm fighting cases of ordinary uh, od, I'm, I'm, I've, I've sent in the case I have presented my case and my case is to ensure that haki ya mwana Kenya iko in the same you know the equal equity is being given and naomba wa Kenya tuweze kuchagua watu wazuri na sasa mkiniambia ati hao tu ndio wamebaki mimi nitasema hapana Chebukati has got the power katiba letu linasema anaweza kunulify this election na aweze kuleta back all the 17 contestants That is what our constitution tells us. Ama hao five wale anasema sisi wote tulipita hao watano. So it was me, Wajakoya, as eh, 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 Ruto, 
uh, and um, um, nani Raila Baba Raila na ma, myself so for, let uh, na na wa uh, na, na wa so if that is the case then they put us na katika ile uh, special uh, interest group Kenya may give constitutional allowances for a special interest group ya wakina mam there is no woman in that competition so this election really need to ask question serious questions amwezi kusema ati wale presidential candidates wote walianza ati wote wako na makosa surely something is not right somewhere so hakuna level playing field wakati huu level playing field ni kumaanisha wale ambao walianza for five years number one they need to be disqualified i am calling upon their disqualification because in the first place they did not follow the rules at least they're back home kenyans send them back home send all of them back home <laughs> basi uh, labda swali la mwisho sitakosa kuliuliza manake uchaguzi utafanywa vile tunaona tunaona kama tuna farasi watano sasa yeah wakiongozwa na mama alafu kuna wajakoya pale kuna baba alafu kuna mheshimiwa hasla just in case wakafika ile kura imepigwa na kuna 50 plus 1 watu watajihusisha na miungano wewe utajiunga pande ya jakoya ama pande ya baba ama hasla <laughs> Basa kwa kuungana wakati huo washafunga uh -huh. so vile politics inafanyika ni mnachagua mnakuja wacha ni waeleze na hii pia unaona waelezi wananchi so kwanza saa zile mnafanya coalition multi party systems in africa are very interesting kwa sababu competition inakuwa oh sisi tunataka ha, hivi tunataka hivi katika our political parties in Kenya kwanza lazima muelewe tuko na many political parties i think we are about 88 I can't remember the numbers, but I think we are about 88, or we were initially we were over 100, but I think now it's about 88. But don't quote me on that, but we to do it. Miss International, Miss International Alasema, I love this conversation. Ah. Thank you. Asante. Sasa nilikuwa na waeleza. Nilikuwa na waeleza ya kwamba, katika ile competition, a contest should be good. A contest should have good democracy. Leo hii tulikuwa tunaongea the importance of good democracy. Kwa hivyo the importance of good democracy ni kuleta all these 88 political parties wanaweza kushindana. Sasa katika easy political parties zote, kila mtu anataka kushinda because the meaning of having your political party unataka kubadilisha inchi, unataka kuleta manifesto yako, unataka kuendeleza inchi ili tuweze kuendelea na kupata mambo mazuri sasa katika kujaribu ama when we are trying to to, to, to do that kuna wale watasema sisi hatuna president wakati huu kuna wale watasema sisi hatuna enough people wakati huu kwa hivyo tunataka tuungane so katika ile partnership ndio mnaona kumekuwa na coalition la Kenya kwanza na kumekuwa na partnership ya ya eh, azimio so that is how politics works, especially when it comes to um, a, a politics around Africa. So that's a good thing because you are encouraging people to work together. But what is very interesting this time round, it's not many people who are interested to partner. So scientifically, it's very interesting because ukiangalia, ata azimio ilipata 23, Na Kenya kwanza walipata 12. So where is the rest of the people? Or where is the rest of the other political party? They never decided that they wanted to take any of the sides. That's interesting, Kenyans. So as a scientist, I love to put that in your table. So for me, kama sisi Republican, we decided tutakuwa katika ile nambari ambayo haikuenda any side. Because we are tired of all leadership. We are so tired. We want an alternative. And the alternative is not to get recycled leadership. The alternative is to find new leaders who have got presidents in their campaign teams and in their political, um, uh, in their political parties. 
And that is what is good about our Kenya government, because our Kenyan government has got a space to create opportunities for many political parties that are registered under the Registrar of the Political Parties Act. So we thank our Kenyan government because it recognizes that it's good to have great parties that come up with new ideas. And I really want to appreciate that presence of our government as a Kenyan and setting one of the best examples around Africa. I celebrate um, uh, our government for that. But what is not good is when some few, and I say few, because it's the few candidates who want to play with the constitutional of Kenya and not follow the rules. So Mumenyuliza Swali Moja Ambayo is a very good question, by the way, because that question brings us to the issue of um, a, what happens if we don't meet uh, so many candidates are elected. So I think what the, the question is, assuming you don't get so many people who are elected or assuming uh, you're short of a uh, short of um, a or people would i would would the party be willing to engage with the side so we call that post election so post election comes with new things post election comes in with the new leader mwenyakachaguliwa does that post person anataka kufanya na hii political party ama hii ama hii so it's it's interesting how politics is done and one of the good things also let me celebrate wananchi wa Kenya especially this year and even the last one wananchi wa Kenya wanapenda siasa sana so that's good to see that in fact it's very good but the question is it's one of the lowest time registrations of uh, election unakuta ni kama 21 million ama 23 between that so why is it the, the the election voters is very low so that is natuko watu wangapi population ya kenya ni watu wangapi munaona so for me these are things that i feel are exciting um discussions put it that way yes the fifth juliet the fifth uh juliet the fifth Atatuletea nini hasa? Manake yeah. wengi ni yale yale watu wanasema. kunipanda mtandao. Eh? Anapatikana vipi? Manake pale tulipokuuliza uko wapi tukasema uta, mtandao. Disclose, eh, eh, location yako. Lakini watu wanataka kukuona sasa. Eh, eh, sasa kama kwenye mtandao, na kwenye mtandao, kwenye mtandao ni. Kwenye mtandao waambie sasa kwenye mtandao unapatikana eh, vipi? Eh. Wapi? Yeah, mtandao Twitter, wapatie Twitter Juliet November Mikey 1000 at JNM 1000. Na napenda kusema hivyo vizuri kwa sababu mimi napenda maisha ya mapenzi, napenda mambo ya amani, napenda gratitude, napenda abundance, napenda wa Kenya wanaendelea, napenda find your purpose na nataka wa Kenya wote waweze ku add value. Na kampeni yangu pia ninasema wear your heart. Heart has in H A T. Heart kwa maana when you learn to add value, una letter heart yako. Where we una skill gani? What skill can you give Kenya? What do you have? What is your gifted talent? Na uliza wa Kenya. Sisi wote atu kumbwa to me you know we una gift kama sasa we we lo learni uko una juwa sana mambo ya ya mazungumzo utaratibu leo hii nime discover unajua kufanya ma flyers na nini you know so what gift do you have how can you add value to our nation so leo hii kama unasikiliza i hope i have inspired you na kama unasikiliza tafadhali naomba wa Kenya tuweze ku vote for the right leaders msikae pali pamoja kama political party work, eh, eh, candidate hakuweza ku deliver muondoe that is the meaning of democracy. So good governance, let us shift our mindset. Let us have the best mindset that God gives us, our creator. Na tuwe na mapenzi ya mwenyezi mungu. Basi muheshimiwa the fifth, Juliet the fifth. Uh, yupo shabiki amba na kufatilia. Na wacha ni wasalamie family yangu pia. Aba, sawa. <laughs> Sawa. I, I greet all my fans. Thank you so much to all the volunteers. Thank you so much to all the candidates of Republican Party for the beautiful work that they are doing. 
pale nyuma na wasalamia nyote na tuwa wa executive na pia kwa wananchi join yeah, our train yeah. join our political party yes mimi nasema join our political party yes <laughs> Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makabila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi Eugene amesema nembo yako ni gani nembo Our rainbow aha nini awa nini ni farasi Ah ndio nilikuwa nataka kuambia wanashinda wakisema oh farasi ni tano farasi ni moja Mkiangalia logo yetu kutoka zamani ni farasi sasa ulizeni hawa wengine wanaiba farasi yetu kwa nini kutoka zamani tumekuwa na farasi so kwa nini watu wanataka kusema logo yao ni farasi na logo yao sio farasi Nendeni katika political parties muangalie farasi ni yupi farasi ni namba 5 na ni, 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 ni Republican Liberty Party jamani kwani watu hawajui kusoma farasi ni mmoja na ni Juliet Makapila mwaka huu alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi wala hana wasiwasi mashaka wala tetesi atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi makapila mfanisi ataka kuwa raisi kwa hivyo a e, koti na chebukati wa fula nipatie certificate yangu na Kenyans kama mnanoona nataka a clean win a great win nataka kila mkenya achukue sera zake kwenye Republican Liberty Party na tuseme no to corruption to say me, this is magical Kenya that's it kwa ufupi ni kwamba pale nilisomea nilisomea shule mbili eh, 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 shule mbili secondary eh, shule, shule moja pale Narok kwa hivyo nilikaa na Wamasai pale nikarudi mama akani transfer kutoka Narok akanipeleka shule pale Nyandarwa eh, ama, ama pale karibu na Ndondori pale so two different cultures na yale ambayo niliyaona pale masaini ilikuwa very interesting. Na, na nataka kuambia ku, 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 kuambia hadithi ya raka nilikuwa naambia watu. Wakati nilikuwa shule, mnajua mniliuliza nilianza kufikiria when can I be the president of Kenya? Nimefikiria tu saa hii. Nikasema nikiwa mdogo, niliposalamia, you know I greeted president Moi wakati huo i felt it nikasema mimi siku moja nataka kuwa kama you know i want to be the president of kenya that was in school wakati niko shule alafu wakati niko shuleni pia pale kama niko secondary pale nilipoanga naangalia pale ndondori watu walikuwa nasema soko mjinga mimi mawazo yangu ilikuwa nasema ah jamani kwa nini watu wanasema soko mjinga alafu nikasikia nimekasirika sana because those were the most clever people in our country. Wana chakula imejaa pale Nyandarwa. Na pale Nyandarwa tunasema soko mjinga. Na kila mtu anaenda pale kununua chakula na tunawaita watu wajinga. Nani wajinga ni wale ama ni sisi? So nataka kuambia wa Kenya ile ile story. Mimi napenda Kenya. Usayansi yangu haikuanza saa hii, ilianza nikiwa mdogo. So wacha niwachie hapa. Asante sana, asante sana dada Juliet Makapila. Ah uh, sisi huko Nairobi ni kuombea mema Mungu akuwezeshe uweze kupata hicho cheti kisha waonesha ta wanaume kivumbi kwenye debe. Sisi ni kukutakia mema, sera zako safi, manifesto yako ni safi. Basi Mungu awe nawe tungoje tuone koti itasema vipi kisha kivumbi kianze. Asante sana. Asante. Kwa heri, asante sana kwa kuwa mvumilivu kwenye line. Eh. Basi Juliet the 5th Eugene Mulela anasema kura yake ni kama atakupa naona kama watu wame roho zimeanza kurudi. <laughs> asante sana kwa muda wako mtazamaji uliyekuja. Asante sana eh, Juliet kwa kuwa nasi popote pale ulipo tunasema shukran. Husi mwanzo utakuja tena ili tuendelee kujadili eh, Mambo mengi zaidi ambayo ni ya muhimu kwa taifa letu la Kenya. Asante sana. One love. 
Asante sana sana. One love. Asante sana kwa Irene. Bye bye. Alama yake farasi endaye pole na kasi. Wala hana wasiwasi, mashaka wala tetesi. Atafuta wafuasi bila ya kuwa mkwasi. Makabila mfanisi atakakuwa raisi.